Marcus. Questions for Marcus? Marcus, with the new coaching staff coming in um, now, obviously, you know, back with the team and everything, how have, you know, how has that transition been for you, uh, getting the new coaching staff here, getting Corey here coaching in, and, uh, you know, where do you see your kind of role in the team this year? Uh, it's been great, man. I really like the way Coach Locks and the staff has just came in and, you know, instilled a new system. And uh, I feel like we've really been buying into it as a team. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach Robinson, he's been great, you know, uh, through the first 11 practices, you know, he's taught me a lot. You know, as far as, you know, corner and just not only playing the game, but thinking it as well. So um, I feel like it's coming along together. And uh, I like the way this team is headed. Can you talk about the process of, or the, the road you took to get where you are back here um, from the end of, I, I don't know, when last season where you were not part of the team yeah. to coming, putting your name in the portal, taking your name out of the portal, and then. Uh, I've gone a lot since then. Um, you know, obviously last year, you know, totally different staff, totally different people. Uh, I feel like, you know, I've grown a lot mentally, grown a lot spiritually, and uh, I feel like I just have bought into Coach Locks' new system, and uh, I bought into, you know, being a part of this team and going out every day, practicing hard and doing what I'm supposed to do. How much of what you were going through was sort of, was it anything to do with what happened and what, you know, off field last year with the, all the turmoil and everything, the tragedy of, 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 of Jordan McNair, or, or was it completely separate in your own, you know, your own situation? I kind of just wanted to leave last year in the past, you know what I'm saying? It was a, you know, different staff, you know, went through a little situation. And, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to leave last year. It's last year, you know, it's 2019, new year, um, new me, so to speak. So uh, I just want to leave it, leave it at that. What, what were the conversations like um, with Coach Locks when, when you're coming back? And what made you ultimately decide to, to do that? Uh, you know, we sat down and we talked, and uh, we had uh, a conversation as men, and, uh, you know, we just kind of talked things out. And uh, he laid everything out on the table. And, uh, you know, I love football. I love this team. And, um, you know, we got a great team, and I think we could really do some special things this year. So, you know, he just laid everything out on the table for me. And, you know, he said, you know, here's your opportunity. And, uh, you know, I wanted to stay, wanted to be with the guys. And, uh, you know, I just really like the new system. Give, give, Sorry, ahead, given your experience level, um, do you feel like you have to take more of a leadership role with this group? Uh, for sure, you know, but, um, you know, leadership, you know, it, it's, too, it's twofold. So, you know, I try to just lead by example, you know, try to go out and do my job every day mm -hmm. on and off the field and, you know, try to hope that, you know, the young guys kind of just follow my lead. So that's, you know, I don't want to, you know, make too much noise with it. You know, mm -hmm. I just want to, you know, lead by example, do what I'm supposed to do on and off the field and hopefully guys follow what is it about Corey uh, that you know resonates about his coaching that resonates with you, and how far does your relationship with him go back? Uh, I didn't know Coach Corey previously, um, but uh, I heard about him. Obviously, you know, being from this area, he's a Baltimore guy. You know, I heard about him all through high school, and uh, you know, one of the things I love about his coaching is you know it's not just you're not just out there playing football. You know, you're out there thinking the game. You know, he's putting us through you know situational situ you know situations that we're going to get in the game. So, um, you know, that's what I really like about him. And uh, he's taught me a lot of new things. You know, I'm a fifth year senior, things that he's taught me that I, I didn't know before. So um, I think he's done a great job. Are you, do you characterize yourself as a cover corner, a zone guy? What's your favorite part of this? Uh, I kind of characterize myself as a guy who can really do it all, tackle, uh, cover, whatever my team needs me to do, you know, I'm willing to go out and do it. And, you know, you have John Hogue as a defensive coordinator who, you know, has that NFL experience. What's that like for you guys to you know have a coach who has that level of experience and how do you think that helps your team? Uh, coach Hope, he's been great, man. Like, you know, the system he runs is great. You know, he was obviously with uh, Tampa Bay last year. So, um, you know, a lot of the plays that he's came in with, you know, it's worked. And, uh, you know, we've been trying to work, run it to perfection. Thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.